Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Tesco Finest Traditional Porter. But the beer kind of community out there all know that it's a bottle of Harveston Old Engine Oil. Black cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. But before I do, I just want to say it is described wonderfully well. A rich, smooth, dark ale with chocolate and coffee flavours. So, I always wanted to try Harveston's Old Engine Oil. Ooh, good start then. Fabulous start. Nice glugging pour on the beer. And as you would expect from a quality porter like this, you would expect, oh, just got a whiff of the aroma. You would expect that lovely deep dark black, jet black look to the beer with that lovely almost, I call it Norwegian tan colored head. It's one fingered, it's thick. It's gloopy for 6%. Look at the quality on that. I cannot wait anymore. I've got, I've got to get my nose into this. I've already had a bit of a whiff. Mmm. Toasted brown bread. A freshly baked toasted brown bread, I should add. There is that coffee. There is that chocolate in there. There's a lovely bitterness. There's also raisin in there. There's also like an almond. That smells absolutely divine. I have to dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh. Oh, my. the crows that is a fantastic porter that really is something very very special wow first off and it's a sensation that kicks things off in my mind is that lovely smooth gloopy kind of sticky medium bodied beer that kind of just slides down the throat it sticks to the inside of the palate and what it does then is release all of them lovely flavors in the beer there is that raisin there's the obvious chocolate coffee caramel but there's a lovely rich kind of bitterness on the back end Oh, that is wonderful. It's it's almost it's almost like there's loads of lactose in the beer, loads of like milky lactose. It it's like a cream, almost like a cream liqueur. And there it is. There's that bitterness on the back end, but it's like a coffee caramel chocolate bitterness, dark. Dark, bitter chocolate bitterness on the back end. It's also slightly vinous as well. Mm. That, my friends, I think... What these people did at Harveston Brewery, they must have took a couple of bottles of their old engine oil and they must have seen the Tesco Finest. Let me explain, Tesco Finest, if you're watching outside of the UK, is it speaks for itself really. We all know Tesco, it's their top quality brand, it's their kind of first class, A star product. You get chocolates, little kind of boxes of chocolates. Um, you get uh, 
Chinese meals and, and Indian meals, you get all sorts of kind of nice olives and, and garlic breads and that sort of thing in their, in their finest range. So I think what the guys at Harveston Brewery probably did was, pardon me, they probably approached Tesco, it's like, oh, let's have a meeting if we possibly can and, and sat them down with a few bottles of this. And I can just imagine if they were beer lovers, these kind of Tesco, uh, buyers or Tesco brand managers they would have sat there and they would have tried this and they would have gone you don't even have to speak to me you don't even have to speak we are going to take this as our kind of finest brand of, of beer as a, as a porter it's so good it's such a good beer it speaks for itself. It must have sold itself to Tesco. Mm. That has been the highlight of my evening reviewing beer. Done another kind of supermarket beer and it was awful for Morrison's. It, it was awful stuff um done an american pumpkin ale as well tonight which was mm, it was okay but this is the highlight of my evening this beer harvest an old engine oil for me mm. 6%, it just, it's right, it's still drinkable, it's still refreshing, but you still get that almost kind of log fire, velvety kind of cuddle up in your blanket with a glass of this, you get that kind of, oh, it cuddles you from the inside out, or as we say in Wales, it cutches you. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.